Hi, I'm Alan Lang, Director of Sales and Marketing for Scout Boats. I'm standing on the bow of our all-new 400 LXF. Let me show you around. First thing I would like to mention is the 400 LXF is a carbon fiber, epoxy-infused hull. This model is built like nothing else out there. I like to say that it's built like a tank, looks and runs like a Ferrari. Starting up here, I've got an anchor box with a built-in anchor. I've got foot pedals here to operate that, rod holders, large stainless steel cleats, We've got a grab rail going around this bow area here. Now this model is a successor to our 380 LXF and we've made a lot of changes, lengthened the boat. We've widened this area up here for a lot more room, incorporated backrests. Under each one of these boxes here, we've got lots of storage. There's an electric dinette table that comes up halfway. Put a cushion on it, have a nice lounge or raise it all the way up for a good table for a picnic. Down here in the floor, I've got tons of storage, great for extra life jackets or other gear. You can see this model has a Grigio interior with the shark gray hull, which has become a very popular option. You also notice inside these cushions that we have the diamond pattern that really gives it that sporty look and touch. Just behind the backrest, we have cup holders on either side, rod cup holders up here on the gunnel, and also optional ambient lighting that pops up with just a little twist. Just after that, we've got boxes on the port and starboard side. These are deep boxes. They're great for storage, but they're also insulated, so they're great for drinks or food or whatever you want to put in them. Moving aft, at the front of our console lounge, get a very large storage area. This is also where we keep the ladder. You'll see this lid is on gas shocks, just like a lot of our other lids. And then the lounge seat is contoured for comfort. I've got armrests on either side, the port, the starboard, and then there's also one here in the center with two extra cup holders. Now the rake on this cushion, I can lean back and it's one of the best seats in the house. On the underside of the gunnels here, we have a storage pad, so you can put your flip-flops, t-shirts, keys, phone, wallet, whatever you want to put there, and that kind of keeps everything from moving around. We also have cell phone charging stations, handrails all the way around and then moving down inside the console here i've got a grab rail that's easy to help get down inside the cabin we've got a standard tv we've got natural lighting on either side with windows that open up we've got rod storage with tackle storage that's standard or you can opt for a cedar closet you'll see the long couches here on either side and then we have a center cushion that lays down in between to make a full berth plenty comfortable for two people. We've got storage cabinets here. We've got a refrigerator, a stove top, microwave, separate head unit. I've got an AC panel here. Everything's laid out nice. The lighting in here, you can change it with a press of a button from white to blue to red. You'll also see I have a fresh water sink, 12 volt plug, and then moving aft, we've got a full head and shower with vessel sink and vanity, plenty of headroom in here. And you'll notice the appointments that we do inside these cabins now kind of mimics a nice home. So we have nice gray hardwood flooring. You'll see the custom backsplashes, sort of herringbone pattern. And then coming out of the console, moving further aft, we've got on the port and starboard side, two very large storage areas. These are great for fenders, extra life jackets, and again, any extra gear you might want to bring. You'll see also on the port side, next to the helm, we have the storage for the dive ladder. Now this ladder goes into the beach platform that deploys with the press of a button, and I'll show that to you guys here shortly. Standing at the helm, we've got three Garmin screens. We have plenty of different options in here. If you wanna go with a larger center screen, you can, or smaller screens. We have a mercury vessel view gauge, zip wakes, AC at the helm, joystick, standard Edson steering wheel, four cup holders, glove box that has cell phone charging stations, a stations for your C-Zone, and plenty of room for other items. You'll notice at the top of the dash, we have our Red Scout icon. Now this icon can be turned off at night if you don't want the light. What's nice about it is when it's on, it tells you you have constant power to the boat at all times. Now this particular boat has the razor light option and also an air horn. We have the standard Sea Keeper, the redundancy switches up top here for safety, VHF radio, outrigger handles. So lots of items here with great amenities. This boat will also come with a key fob. When I'm walking up to the boat, I can press one single button, 
the master switch, that will automatically turn on my battery switches on solenoids so I don't have to get down into a tight space and turn them on by hand. There's also a couple other options on here for lights and I can press it one more time and it'll shut everything down. You'll notice the hard top lights underneath the hard top here. Again, with the press of a button, I can change them from white to red to blue. I've got a sunroof here that opens up to give me a little more breeze or I can shut it if it starts to rain or if I want a little more shade, I can just shut that with an, a little push. The helm area has three different chairs for three different people. They all work independent of each other. So I can fold them down independently. And the other nice thing, especially for the people in the Northeast, is these seats are heated seats and that's standard. Another really neat feature we have on this boat is the anchor camera. If I go to my Garmin and press camera, I can automatically see the anchor and my anchor line, the attitude of it, where I'm sitting so I don't need a spotter when I'm trying to anchor or pull my anchor up. On the side of the leaning post here on the port side, you'll see we've got three tackle drawers and these can be optioned out. It's a pick them situation. So you can get tackle drawers, an ice maker, refrigerator, dual tackle drawers, however you wanna do it. Just behind the port helm seat, we've got a control for hot water on the deck. If you wanna take a shower, we put the fresh water reels up here in the hard top as well as the raw water. We always do the, the fresh water on the port side, so if you wanna take a shower, you can deploy the beach platform, step out there and take a hot shower without getting everybody else on the boat wet. On the starboard side of the leaning post, this particular model, we've got the refrigerator, a 12 volt plug, and an actuator for our rocket launchers. Now again, we have a patent on these rocket launchers. They're called our retractable rocket launchers with a push of a button. They'll drop down and I can easily load the rods without climbing around, which can be difficult sometimes offshore. And if I deploy the optional shore shade, it won't do damage to the shore shade or the rods because our actuated rocket launchers will drop down and get out of the way for that shore shade. When I pull that shore shade back in, they will automatically go back up. Now on this particular boat, we have the convertible leaning post. With the press of a button, it goes from being aft facing seat to a full summer kitchen with fresh water sink, electric Kenyan grill, and cutting board. Or I can fold everything down and just have a nice countertop to use for bar. Underneath the back of the leaning post, I've got access to our sea keeper. Again, which is standard on the boat. For those of you that don't want sea keepers, we do have a deletion price, but we found that most people actually love them. They do a great job and take out about 85% of the pitch and roll in most cases. On the port side, we've got a large fish box mirrored by a large fish box, same size on the starboard side. In the center aft section, we've got a lid here that opens up. It gives you access to the bilge. You also see that we have the generator down here and a sea chest. This sea chest helps because we have a stepped hole, actually a dual stepped hole in this model, and it'll always keep all your water systems that need to be cooled, primed, without losing water to them. On the starboard side, you'll see we have the breakers for the shore power, and then we have the reverso switch. So you press it once and it'll run for about seven and a half minutes, then go to the second engine, you press it twice, it'll run through one engine for 15 minutes, and then the other engine for 15 minutes, flushing them out with fresh water, or if you press it a third time, it'll automatically stop. This boat is yacht certified, so you, the captain can deem how many people they want to put on it safely as long as they have the correct safety equipment. And at the stern here, we've done a lot of different things. We've got a transom door on the port side, a transom door on the starboard side, dual bait wells with clear acrylic. So you can see your bait, make sure they're doing good. You can see how we painted them blue, keep the bait happy. Then we've got rocket launchers mounted across the back of the transom. And we've got a forward facing transom seat with a large cooler box or storage box. Now on the port side, you'll see we have a switch over here for the beach platform. With the press of a button, this beach platform drops down and really opens up the cockpit of this boat. Gives us a great area for entertaining, swimming, and then I can take this ladder that's stored over here on the port, put it in these ladder brackets, and it's almost like a swimming pool ladder. Very easy to get up and out of the boat, and I've got these handrails to hang on to. Walking back through the transom, I've got doors that shut on both sides, and like you see on most of the new Scout models, we've done away with the splash wells like you see on most other boats. That allows us to make everything flat and even across the back of the boat. So if I want to dock port to or starboard to, 
It makes it very easy walking across without tripping in a, in a well that might have some mildew in it or rigging tubes running through it. So very comfortable. As you can see, this particular 400 was rigged with the Mercury V12 600 engines. They're very quiet, very smooth, very versatile. And one great thing about them too is you don't have to take them out of the water for the first 1,000 hours for servicing. Thank you for checking out our all new 400 LXF and visit us now at scoutboats.com. <laughs>